what's up guys? Hey, hope everyone's having a great day. We're gonna do a pretty cool mod. Um, we're gonna be doing some Honda S2000 parts on my Toyota Celica GTS. Now, this is a 2003 and above, so this Celica has some funny things on it, and I had to go get some parts to make this work. Um, I'm actually gonna jump into this scene real quick. So I actually went and drove all the way across town into like downtown and found uh, this part that I needed from a Celica GTS. The guy, it was a 2ZZ and he was swapping the 2ZZ with a V8. Crazy, I've never seen that done before. Um, hadn't got the engine in there, but that looked like a big process. I don't even know if it'd fit in there. Uh, that being said though, he's like, hey, it's a parts car, you can get stuff off of it. And so I reached out and he had what I needed. Let me show you what I need. Check this out. So abandoned GTS, it's pretty cool. It's actually underneath the coverage. Um, this guess is a project car, but I'm taking that antenna out of there. I forgot my vlog camera, so you guys are on the cell phone. Um, but I need that little thing, and I'll show you guys why in a second. Um, pretty cool. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, but I'm also getting the rear seats. Okay, check this out. So that's that antenna that I needed, and then those are those plastic clips I've been needing. Uh, like I had an auto, um, an automatic GTS. Uh, and he's putting a V8 in it. Isn't that crazy? Um, but I got what I needed. So let's go ahead and go back to to this. I had to drive all the way out. Got the Evo. Had to drive out to the middle of nowhere to get this. Okay, so back in the garage. Here is the Honda S2000 genuine parts. This is a real Honda S2000 part. They look like this. That's what they look like. Um, they're thin. They're nice. They're pretty durable rubber. Um, they're about $15 to $20, pretty affordable. Um, I also got the clips, so I ordered this online. Um, I got the clips that I needed for my um, privacy cover. I was so excited that he had those. I got both of those. And then I also got, this is the antenna that I needed. So um, I am gonna paint this little silver thing black, but let me go ahead and show you over the car why we're doing this. This is currently the antenna. Um, it is quite small I would say as you guys can see right here uh, this is the OEM one right here it actually has the grommet and everything on there but when we unlock the car and then I'm gonna go turn the radio on I'm gonna just show you guys this whole thing let's come in here let's put the key in we're gonna put the key in I gotta turn the steering wheel real quick it's on lock uh, we're gonna put the radio on and you guys are gonna hear you guys can hear this motor coming on and look look how big this thing is I think I'm gonna go get a measuring tape let me go grab a measuring tape I want to tell you guys how long it is it is so so big a lot of people are saying Mitch you got to get rid of that thing and I agree with you it is hilarious um, it goes all the way yeah, look at that thing that is huge um, and then here's the privacy cover the real reason I actually went there was to get the seats that he had. Um, these are a very interesting color. These ones are, I don't really care for them. They're like blue gray. Um, he had gray seats, uh, gray leather seats, and I want black leather seats. So I'm gonna wait till some of those come up. If you guys have some of those, let me know. Um, but as you guys can see, I have one privacy little clip right here. There's one, but then I, I just missing the other one. So this one looks like it's been a little scruffed up compared to that one. Hopefully I can glue it in there. Uh, but that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove and install this. Let me grab that measure. Okay, so uh, it's huge. It's uh, about 32 inches long. That is hilarious. So it, it is just massive. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this real quick here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pull this out right here and then that exposes inside. You guys saw this last time we did the tail lights. Um, here is the little plug that goes into it. This gives the antenna electricity. Um, I don't think if I plug this out, I don't think it's gonna go down or anything like that, but we will unplug this. Uh, we are gonna wanna get behind this. We're gonna try to get behind this. Um, I just showed you guys how to do that when we did the coilovers. Um, we're gonna unhook this right here, which is a Phillips head, and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt here, and then it should give us enough room to pop it off because there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. All right, so this should have enough wiggle room. Let me get this floor mat up and over. Yeah, now we're talking. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it is. So let's look right there. So there's a 10 millimeter, you guys see that? That is what we're trying to get out of here, that thing. So let's do lefty loosey on that. In addition to, we're gonna have to do a Phillips head and we're gonna have to break this one left loose. So let's grab the 10 millimeter and then we'll do the uh, a uh, uh, flathead sc screwdriver and do this lefty loose. So I did unplug the little light that goes into right here. That light, the 
privacy light or whatever it's called. I unplugged the um, power part of it. Now this is gonna be the antenna, antenna, antenna. We're gonna unplug that one too. You guys can see that one. But this thing, um, since I already did the Lefty Lucy, you can see the whole mechanism in here. It wants to come out. Now all we have to do is take a Phillips head and break that. I meant, I meant flat head. I keep on saying Phillips head, flat head. So we're just gonna push this right here and it's just gonna go Lefty Lucy, just like that. Okay, so 2000 to 2002, and then this is right here, the 03 with the giant antenna. Look at all this extra weight. I bet this thing weighs like a half a pound. Um, same mounting point right here, which is gonna be this guy. You guys see that right there? Same mounting point, same antenna. This thing has an antenna plug-in. Okay, so we have those out. So now we're gonna, um, and this is actually the um, one that came with the car too. You could, I could probably use this grommet or the other grommet. It's probably one and the same to be honest. I did cut this long extension wire. Um, it was, it was the way that I did that was because I wanted to separate this up and pull this, this out out the top of the hole. And I wanted to pull that one down below. Um, and that was connecting it that way. Now you don't have to do that. I don't think you could have taken apart a little bit further, but I didn't. Um, so that looks pretty 2000-esque to me. Um, so I'm gonna start showing you guys how I'm gonna put this uh, back together. But let's do a little bit of cleaning first. I gotta grab a microfiber. So there was like a dark dirt ring right there. I cleaned that off. I scrubbed it with the microfiber, um, a little bit of cleaner wax. That being said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to plug this one in. Uh, but I did wanna show you guys that I am painting this part right here. I'm gonna paint this part black. So as you're mounting this part right here, this is the new one, um, you're gonna wanna mount this part right here with that 10 millimeter nut. Now you might wanna rotate this thing left or right so that you get this part flush up against the flush of the body panel. So I'm gonna move mine. It's a Phillips head. And I'm gonna do lefty loosey on this. Lo loosen it up a little bit. And now it's loose, I'm able to move this around so that this part fits flush with, with, the, with the other part. So Okay, so you guys can see it. I mounted that 10 millimeter. That black one with the green stripe is the antenna connector that went back in. And then we're not gonna, we're no longer gonna use this power source. You could use it for something. Um, I don't know, but we're not gonna use that anymore. Um, it'll be behind the plastic, so you don't really need to block it off or anything. It's kinda cool, there was like a drain plug right here um, in case like, and it went out to the exterior right there. And that'd be in case like the antenna got had moisture or water on it. That's pretty cool, it would breathe outside. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we're just gonna disregard that. So those you can just kind of button up or tuck back behind there. Um, plug back in this light, uh, wipe, you know, wipe this down if you want. And then, um, you're done on the inside. So it's that 10 millimeter bolt, that one antenna wire, and then this is what it's gonna look like, but I have my silver one installed, but that looks so much better. Um, we're gonna wait until the black one actually dries to finish it, but here currently is that antenna for the S2K. Um, before I un unpackage this one, put this one on, make sure that my black one has dried. So good news, those clips do fit. Perfect for the privacy uh, cover but they're the old color. Wow, that's a real big difference. Charcoal from factory, gray from factory. That's what your O2s look like. This is why I want this color so much more. It's a very, very big difference. Um, I'm gonna actually paint those black right now. So while the other part is drying, I'm gonna actually do that. And then um, I'm gonna reinstall these after I got a gloss black. Okay, so I painted those black. They look better instead of that light gray and installed those back on there. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that real quick. Okay, so this is what it would look like with the chrome one, and then this is the OEM one from my O3. I think I'm gonna shine up and use the um, the O or the O3 for my O2. Okay, so there, it's actually metal. It's actually not plastic, but that right there, I scuffed it up real quick with the sanding block, and then um, painted it um, gloss black. It looked look real good. Let it sit for 30 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and put it. Okay, so here is that new gloss black. That looks good. It dried overnight actually. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put that on there and just do righty tidy with it. It looks better than the chrome. And um, you really don't need to do the screwdriver thing again. To be honest, you can just finger tighten it pretty well. Um, I do recommend holding up that lower shaft 
underneath back up here so that you can push it up a little bit like that so that it'll go pretty full tight. All right, so now we finally get to open up the S2000 right there and open this up and then we're just gonna screw this on and it should just fit perfectly snug right over it. And it actually has like a indent so it should go flush right against that new black. It feels nice too. Yeah, see it screws righty tighty right in. Boom, and that's it, wow. That looks really clean. So much better. All right, let's go do a cinematic edit. So you guys can hear it sounds really good. So it's still crystal clear on the um, reception. And that is how you make the conversion. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I really like this. This is the Honda S2000 swap. It's been uh, a very long time mod. Um, and I think it looks way, way better than what the original ones came with. The original ones came with like a really tall, like kind of weird one. Um, and then this one, the 03 Plus came with that huge, it was 32, 32 inches, which is like three feet antenna, just shy of three feet, which is crazy. It's a yard whole yard of an antenna um, but I think that looks really really good I like how it turned out I really enjoy the black that I glossed here and I enjoy this grommet being clean and then this is on here really sturdy it's not gonna go anywhere and then I it also I'm so thankful I was able to find those clips um, because now this thing opens and closes properly how cool and I painted a black I think it looks pretty good that they're black and not that uh, lighter color because before when I would closed this it, it didn't want to close properly and now it's just a perfect perfect car oh man we're making this thing look really really good loving this build love the wheels on it love that exhaust um, I would like to do some tent um, struggling to find a tent guy right now um, I haven't found anyone over here I had a guy lined up but then I guess he's not doing it anymore oh I love those smoked fog lights too but the car looks really really good I think I'm gonna do some power stuff soon maybe an oil change uh, maybe some spark plugs uh, maybe some lift bolts and then my intake from my website uh, maybe maybe some mid pipe exhaust stuff in a um, but i'm really liking the way this is coming together so make sure to like subscribe uh, again hit the like button i will see you on the next video have a great weekend i'll see you guys then